Welcome to the Future of Real Estate, Tulsa's source for local real estate news and information. I'm your host, Darrell Baskin of the Baskin Real Estate Specialists at McGraw Realtors. We have a fantastic show for you today. You know, everybody has homeowner's insurance, but do you have enough to cover the jewelry and the extra valuables you have in your home? Mike Tedford of Tedford Insurance will tell us what to look for in your insurance policy. You may have homeowner's insurance, but you may not be covered. Jewelry, furs, fine arts, what are the limitations in your homeowner's policy? Mike Tedford of Tedford Insurance, here to share his expertise on the matter. Mike, not all insurance policies have all the coverage that people would think. What should a homeowner uh, be wary of when they're shopping for insurance and to make sure that they have the coverage they want? What they need to be aware of is within each homeowner's policy, there are several things that are limited. We're not saying they're not covered, they're just, there's limitations. Jewelry, furs, silver, guns, and fine arts typically have a limitation for theft. And those are things that a lot of people would collect. That is true. They may start off okay, but then five, ten years later, they're not covered. That is true. Well, and what, you, what you have to recognize is it's, when we talk about it, it's theft coverage. So it's, it, burning may be a different story versus being stolen. But oh, that's interesting. That is the likelihood that something is going to happen. Now, even as we talk, I want to transition to something else, and that is mysterious disappearance. How many people with their, their wedding rings or something of that nature, they don't know what happened to them. We don't think they got stolen, but we don't know what happened. And the best thing to do in that case is to do what we call schedule them on. Most people say put a writer on their policy. We specifically describe and ensure that item, whether it's the jewelry, the silver, the furs, whatever it is, for a specific amount. And when you do that, you do two things. You add a coverage for mysterious disappearance, and you also eliminate a deductible. So you're covering that one item specifically for a charge, a premium, but because of that, if something happens to it, it's going to be covered. That is very interesting. I, didn't, I, I wasn't aware of that, and as you mentioned it, two or three times over many years, we've had the mysterious disappearance of things uh, in our home. So uh, interesting. Now guns, what about, do you, do you do guns the same way as jewelry and, and other things? Guns would be handled the exact same way as jewelry is we, we you generally don't have a problem with serious disappearance with a gun. Sure. You have a theft issue with guns. And you would schedule them on just the same as you would jewelry. Well, Mike Tedford, Tedford Insurance, 299-2345 or tedfordinsurance.com. Mike, uh, thank you much, very much for your expertise. Thank you, Darrell. You're watching the future of real estate. If you are shopping for a home, make sure you talk to one of my buyer specialists. Discover the difference when you have a realtor who's working for you throughout the purchase. And if you're thinking of selling, get expert advice from one of my listing partners at the Baskin Real Estate Specialist. People who are educated, understand the market and what the trends are, how to put you out in front. 918-258-2600.